Hello everybody, welcome back to the Real Estate Agent Advantage. This is the Daily Prospecting Challenge video for the week. It's Friday and I wanted to talk about Mojo, triple line dialer versus single line dialer because I'm getting a lot of questions, which is great. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I always forget to do that, but please don't forget to do that. Uh, all of your support really does help. And um, reach out to me. You know, my number is 416-890-5775 or email me, lauren at laurencooper.com. Uh, you know, reach out to me with your questions because I'm getting a lot of questions right now from agents asking me, should I use a triple line dialer or a single line dialer? What's the difference? When should I use what? So I wanted to go over that. And when I started this uh, daily prospecting challenge journey with using Mojo as a dialer, I started with the single line dialer. I did that for 30 days or a month. And then I flipped over to the triple line dialer because I wanted to compare the results. And there is a video, I think it's my, well, third or fourth uh, video in the series of the daily prospecting challenge where I go over the differences in my results from calling daily um, with my circle prospecting script on the single line dialer or the triple line dialer and I found that uh, the contact rate first of all the dials definitely went up the contact rate went up slightly and I think that has to do with the fact that um, sometimes you're getting uh, double pickups and you have to call somebody back um, I don't know, but I know you can bust through numbers a lot faster with the triple line dialer. So I was getting uh, almost 200 dials uh, with a single line in a two hour session, you know, 180 to 200 in that range. Whereas with the triple line dialer, I'm really uh, closer to the 300 range. So it hasn't doubled, okay? But it has gone up significantly. In terms of the results um, for contacts made, I would say the contacts have gone up by about 10 to 20 sorry, 10 to 15. Um, so I was getting about 20, 25 contacts, where now I'm getting closer to, you know, anywhere from 30 to 40. And, uh, and this is daily, of course, in the two hour session. And then the big uh, metric that matters the most is, you know, for me, how many leads am I getting? How much um, or how many contacts or contact information? For me, it's, it's the whole goal of this, you know, first phase of the daily prospecting challenge for me is emails. I want to get as many emails as possible, get people into my database in my kind of geographic farming area. So that hasn't gone up significantly unless you sort of block it out over long term. So really I was looking at about three for the single line dialer. I was getting about three a day. And whereas with the triple line dialer, I'm looking at about four and a half on average so far. Um, so it, it is definitely uh, improved, not, not three times as much um, for single line versus triple line, but maybe I'm just busting through the numbers faster, so I'd be getting the similar numbers anyway over the long term. But I will say over you know a month, that's the difference of if I was getting three um, a day times five days a week, obviously that's 15 a week, 15 times four, that's 60, right? So that's 60 leads a month, still great. But for the triple line, I'm looking at about four and a half. Um, we'll, we'll keep it four and a half to be conservative because I got as many as 11 one day, which was awesome. But I also had zero another day. <laughs> so, I mean, it does balance out to, like I said, four and a half. Um, that's an extra one and a half per day times five, right? So you're looking at, we'll even call it just one. Um, if it was four a day, that's five, okay? Because I like to be conservative. That's five versus um, an extra five, you know, uh, contacts per week. <laughs> My mind's a little scrambled. All right, so rather than 15, I'm getting like 20, um, 20 comparatively speaking, if I'm doing four per day, right? So that's an extra five a week. That's an extra 20 a month, you know, over 12 months. That's a significant amount, right? That's 240. Uh, my math is terrible, but I think that's what it is. So um, extra leads per, per month that I can work with and, and nurture over time. Bottom line is it matters, you know, what your goals are as to whether you should use the single or triple line dialer. I suggest start out with the single, see how it goes for 30 days, flip over to the triple, see the difference. Is it significant enough for you in your market with your script and your goals? That's my suggestion. Now, in terms of overall, I would say that um, going forward with uh, circle prospecting, 
uh, geo geographic farm kind of area you're calling just listed just solds all that triple line dialer all the way do that bust through the numbers pretty quickly if you're filtering in your sphere or your database and following up I would say single line dialer is better because uh, you don't want to trip over people you want to be a lot more concentrated and focused with those calls and it's more likely that those people will pick up it's not cold calls that you're making at that point right so I would stay focused on the single line dialer the triple line dialer is best for just busting through uh, kind of circle dialing circle prospecting leads um, and and that's kind of my bag right now so uh, going forward I'll keep the triple line dialer and and be able to when you have the triple line dialer you can break it down to just use the single dialer or the triple line dialer for different purposes that's what I would do um, as for you I would as well filter in my lists of database and everything else so that you're making sure that you're making your calls every day you know uh, an hour uh, of power if you will to call your database um, one to two hours of circle prospecting or if you're calling expireds or whatever the case may be now with a specific targeted list like expireds it's usually not as many numbers as um, circle dialing so I would use a single line dialer uh, for expireds I would use a single line dialer for for sale by owners um, but I would experiment as well uh, see what the results are see what the the drop-off rates are for for answering or not because you don't want those those long clicks in between that pause before you say hello right so it, it happens less frequently it does happen but it's less frequent with the single line dialer versus the triple line dialer okay so I hope that answers your question as to how I use the single line versus the triple line dialer and how you might want to approach it as well. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section down below. I welcome all your comments and questions. I love hearing back from you guys. So you can reach out to me again at 416-890-5775. Try the Facebook group, uh, The Real Estate Agent Advantage, or uh, my email, lauren at laurencooper.com. You can check the spelling down below to spell my name. Uh, and that's it. I look forward to speaking with you guys on the next video. That'll be Monday where we have uh, interviews with top agents and get to hear their strategies and their journey in real estate. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to sub subscribe and ring that little bell so you know when we do uh, new videos every week, three times a week. Take care, everyone.